And welcome to Go Live Market Update for today and your charts of the day. It's the 9th of March 2023. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets, leading you around what's happening in markets today. It was a choppy session in the US. The Nasdaq and the S&P managed to eke out small gains. The Dow fell slightly short of neutral as markets processed the ongoing implications of Jerome Powell's testimony in front of Congress on the previous day. US futures are unconvincing in Asian trading. They've been near neutral most of the session so far. In fact, have just slightly started to tail off a little bit. Asian indices, however, are mixed as the ASX is trading near neutral, but the Nikkei is looking quite positive. European equity futures are pointing to a very cautious open as well. Markets don't seem to be particularly distressed, and we can see that in the VIX, which is still below that key 20 level. In the FX world, US dollar index paused at four months yesterday. Gold stabilised around about 18.15 from now. Remember, it had that big drop from 18.50 the previous day. And copper had a nice bounce yesterday. It was a choppy session, but it's back over that important $4 level. And we saw oil drift down again. And the market seems very uncertain about the direction of oil in the short term. Bitcoin also fell and it's below 22,000 at the minute, which is really important. It looks quite technically bearish with a potential double top formation if you have a look at a chart. On the data front, we had Japanese GDP softer than expected. Chinese PPI and CPI are already out and they again were quite soft, which is good, suggesting inflation is dropping in China. And we've got the weekly US jobs out later, which again is a really important number. Market eyes will be on the non-farm payrolls tomorrow, which is obviously a key data point. That monthly US employment number is one that the Fed looks at very vigorously. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. On the FX front, we like the way the euro yen is shaping up. Australian dollar weakness across the board this morning. You can see it's moved back up to this 160.25 level, which looks really important on the 30 minute chart. Just to put this into context, if we take it back to the daily, this is the high it's been since 13 months ago, uh, late January 2022, uh, and a potential upside of around about 162 in the medium term. In the short term, I think there's an opportunity which may be worth having a look at there, providing this buying momentum continues. At this stage, the volume is quite low, but it's worthwhile checking out where this goes during the course of the day. On the ASX, we're wondering if PLS is worth a look. You can see this support of the 200 EMA being very much in place over the last few days. And we do have some buying pressure coming in today, which looks interesting. What I would say is that key level on this is around about this 432 level. So it may well be worth just hanging on for a few hours just to see where this closes towards the back end of the day. And if it doesn't, then relook at it tomorrow. In the medium term, a potential price target of around about 460 is not unreasonable. You can see technically it was support during the last time it was over $5 at the back end of January, early Feb. And that's an increase of around about 8% from where we are now. So there could be an opportunity there, but be patient and wait for the right setup. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.